careful. Your friend is highly flammable. Here's a look at the NECA Scream Factory exclusive Retro Cloth Burnt Chucky. This exclusive limited edition five and a half inch tall charred Chucky action figure by NECA is limited to 4,000 units and exclusive to shoutfactory.com. About to check out a charbroiled Chucky. But of course, you know, before we do that, let's go ahead and grab the tape measure just to see how tall this guy stands. Now, sadly, as it stands right now, Chucky, charred or otherwise, is sold out over on Scream Factory's website. Initially, you could actually pre-order this guy just on his own, or you could do what I did as well. You could pre-order the box set release, which essentially was the, four, the first three films re-released in 4K format. And then you could also get this guy along with him. But this guy was delayed. He wasn't going to be shipped along with the movies. So we had to wait a little bit longer. What's rather interesting, though, somebody's right now just saying, measure this guy already. Hold on. What's rather interesting, though, is right now over on their website where it's currently sold out, it has the release date of December 27, 2022. If you happen to be checking out your calendar, mine just happens to be over here right now. It's not December 27, 2022. So likely that's a restock pre-order. And that has also sold out. The only thing I could really offer up for advice, just measure this guy already. What I would offer up for advice though, is mark down below the notify when stocked. So at least you can be emailed when this guy gets back in stock. Okay, finally getting back to measuring this guy. Charred Chucky stands about four and a half inches in height, or the figure's gonna be about 10 and a half centimeters tall. Collectors in the know would already know this isn't the first time we've got ourselves an exclusive Chucky from Scream Factory. In fact, we did also get this guy before. This guy was released as a, as a standalone retro release, or I think he was also packaged along with the 4K release of Child's Play. Since then, he has gotten a retail release with a completely different head sculpt. I don't know where the whereabouts of him right now are, although I had heard scampering in the background. I really hope he's not creeping up on me. But this guy, unfortunately, never got himself a re-release, retail or otherwise. It's the only way right now to get yourself a true, original, retro cloth, good guy doll. We did, however, get this guy, also for re released from NECA Toys. This guy was released along with his bride. Now, one thing you may notice also with these figures, too, is that these ones are a little closer in scale to one another. While they are sharing similar bodies, if I was to put it against the good guy version of Chucky, you'll notice he's considerably taller. I don't think it's necessarily the body, although it does seem slightly that this body is shorter, but he also does have a much longer neck that does contribute to why he seems so much taller than the charred Chucky. And then, of course, when we take this good guy Chucky, the one that, of course, has the visible staples and scars, yeah, they're about the same size to one another. It looks like they are using the same body. And it looks like as well, head-wise, they're a little bit more closer in scale to one another. You tend not to get a lot of accessories with these releases. And this particular Chucky, while it didn't come in clue with a hammer, he does, however, come in clue with the voodoo knife. Getting a closer look at that right now. This has all, of course, been molded in plastic. The blade has been nicely done here in silver with a little bit of red done to the top of it with that little swirl effect that they painted in there. You can see there's a skull and crossbones along the handle. It's on both sides, in fact. And there's also a little bit of yellow that they've added in there as well. It's a nice looking blade. I don't know necessarily I'd be displaying it with this Chucky because of the state that he's in right now. But if you did want to put it in his hand, he technically has two serviceable gripping hands. So you can easily just take the voodoo knife and put him in either one of them. It doesn't sit to where it's got a good solid grip. In fact, actually, the further you push down the handle, you kind of want to have it a little bit more to the broader side of it. The further you push it down, the more narrow that handle gets, and it doesn't hold in his hand as well. You kind of have to then maybe soften the hand just a little bit with hot water for him to hold the blade a little bit better. I keep putting my hand underneath just in case it happens to fall. But yeah, you can put in, take in, technically put in both of his hands. I guess really this is the better hand between the two, and you can hold it that way. Taking this, though, and putting that to the side, getting, though, a closer look now at Charred Chucky. You know, for a second, only a split second, I debated actually whether I really wanted this guy. It's always the case whenever these Scream Factory exclusives pop up, it happens to always come at a time when I don't have the money. Or there's bills, or there's some expense that happens to come up where I have to debate how bad do I really want this figure. 
I end up sitting on it for a couple of weeks, at least the time of me being able to generate a little bit more revenue, a little bit more money in my pocket, where I was able to finally afford this guy. Don't worry, no bill, bills were neglected in order to get Chucky. But luckily, the guy was still in stock along with the rest of the Child's Play releases. So again, I did order the movies, which we already have done an unboxing video here on this channel. And this guy had to wait. He got shipped several months after the fact. He now started shipping around the late late November, now early December, when these guys are going to start showing up in, at doorsteps and people's doors. Again, going a closer look at the face, though. One thing I really like about the face, there's a couple of things I really like about the face. One of which, there's a lot of good detail going on here. Uh, I really like that the surface of the face obviously looked quite charred, but you can actually see inside the head, like there's a lot of neat sculpting. I'm hoping, in fact, the camera's even able to pick it up. It's painted about the same, so it's a little harder to spot, but it's actually further in there. You can see inside the, the crater, there's some additional sculpting in there as well. He has one giant bloodshot eye and one slightly smaller eye that I'm sure is not able to, he's not probably able to see anything out of it. He does have what what remains, I guess, of left, what's left of his hair after he's been out of the fire. He's got all this cool melted plastic all across his face as well. One thing did surprise me about this was the fact that you can't open his mouth. I just assumed, if, an, if anything, that this was just all a molded head. But in fact, they found the way to add articulation in the mouth. Right. And you can actually open the mouth, open and close it. Of course, on the front, you have what really is left behind of Chucky. Like checking bodily remains, you always end up going with the dental records. I guess with Chucky, with the state that he's in, you probably would have to rely on his dental records. Would Chucky still have dental records? I guess he still would. Inside his mouth, you can see there's a nice bright pink tongue, and there's also an equally bright pink for the top and bottom of his gums. Really like the head sculpt quite a lot here. You could technically as well, like in the movie, decapitate him. Just simply take the head and pop it off the ball joint. I had actually seen a couple of images online where people had gotten their Chucky and the head was actually off of the figure's body. It's similar remove, actually. The ball joint's obviously right there and it just attaches to the socket or the hole on the underside of his head. So if you did want to have yourself Chucky with his head maybe on the shelf like this, as fun as that display would be, it probably would freak out a lot of your friends if they came over. I think for me, I would much rather just have him displayed with the head on the body myself. And it's also less likely to be lost. I'd hate to think I'd come back one day and the head's been rolled away and my cat took off with it. I don't know if I really would want to have my cat running away with Chucky's head in his mouth. As it goes, certainly for the rest of his body, though. I mean, for this, I think what we probably could do is bring back in the good guy, Chucky. So you can see, like, his outfit, he's a little bit bigger here. It's almost as if they shrunk down the size of his body. I can't really imagine that they would have used a different body mold underneath this, but it does look like he's visibly baggier with the clothing that he's wearing here. Again, proportionally, when you're looking at him, yeah, even like the shoulders here, the shoulders are a lot higher on the original good guy release. There's originally what the good guy head sculpt looked like. I hope some point we're going to be getting another one this guy, because I know there was a lot of people that missed the chance to get themselves the good guy retro cloth Chucky. Hope this guy gets released down the road. I mean, obviously, there's very little of his hair left. What's very noticeable as well is that he's also using plastic hair and not the real doll hair. Not really sure how I feel, honestly, about that. That was one of the talking points I mentioned about the bride of Chucky Chucky, is whether he actually was using plastic hair. Plastic's a lot easier to control. You don't have to worry about it getting too frizzy, and it keeps the sculpting fully intact because it always will continue to look like Chucky without just a frizzy bad hair day. This Chucky obviously as you can see has, has darker hair as well. Some of it may be as the resulting of him coming out of a fire but he's a lot darker than the hair, the hair styling here that we have for the Bride of Chucky here. Body wise these ones are a little bit closer in scale to one another. Actually let's just bring the arm down here so you guys can see. With Chucky the Bride of Chucky, at least. I'm going to roll up the sleeve so you can see that they've used just a flesh tone body. For the obvious reasons of having all these holes in his outfit, it wouldn't make any sense really use the same coloring. So what they ended up doing is instead is using a plastic buck body underneath. The hands, you can see, very heavily charred. And like in the movie, though, in fact, you can actually see where the bone, or what would be the bone on the doll, you can see like the sharp shards of metal sticking out from the ends of his fingers. They're not obviously real metal, but it certainly gives the, the point across, literally the point across, as they've nicely painted that in silver. Yeah, the outfit really does match the head. There's nothing really very attractive at all about this Chucky. He's got all these rips and tears in him. 
discolored, obviously good guy uh, outfit here. You can even barely make out that it even says good guy here on the front. The print is still there on the pants, despite for the fact of how dark it actually is. You can still see all the little prints of all the things the good guys are known for doing, including killing, pushing babysitters out the windows, and just also threatening just a, a threat, threatening a small child, Andy. Still has the, the stripes there on his sleeves, but again, you've got all these little rips and stuff, so you can see the plastic underneath. Overall, it's just a really nice looking figure. And one thing also to very obviously point out is the fact on this figure, he does have, again, black shoes. His shoes being colored in red and white, I mean, there's no way of being able to save those colors, again, when he's been set on fire. The only thing that actually still remains is the soles, although they're much darker red than the original soles here on the Chucky before. Articulation-wise on this guy, his head is on a ball joint, as we already had a look at, so you can rotate the head all the way around. You can have it looking up. And you can have it looking down only by just a little bit. You can also rock it back and forth as well. Just to make sure we haven't overlooked anything of the details. Just to spin this guy around one last time so you guys can see everything that's going on here with Chucky's face. Just such a cool looking Chucky. I hope we can also get ourselves this spaghetti face Chucky, which would of course have the half of his face missing. I think that would be a release that maybe down the road, Scream Factory and NECA could collaborate again and release that figure at some point. But anyways, back to the articulation. He does have the standard articulation for a smaller scale retro cloth body. The arms do move forward and back. They also move out. Bicep swivel, single hinge uh, elbow. You can also rotate the hand all the way around. The upper torso seems to be more on a ball joint. I'm thinking, yeah, because you can also move it up and down this way. You can also rotate it. The legs do split out. Forward and back on the legs. Let me just stop myself for a second before we get to the rest of the articulation. Okay, I think I can actually remember what I was going to say. Rest of the articulation, he does have a single hinge in the knee, and he does only, only have a single hinge back and forth on his ankle. Now the point I actually wanted to mention about Chucky here. Now, I don't know if it's just the, for the sake that they've used this mold before, but I've noticed like the tops of his thighs are really loose. I haven't had the figure out of the packaging for very long at all, in fact, maybe just a couple of hours. But yeah, he's very loose already here on the legs. So when it comes to standing this figure, you may have even noticed in the earlier end of this review at the very beginning, I actually had his legs widespread like this. It sort of helps to balance and prevent the guy from falling over. If you bring the legs a little bit more closer together, that seems to be when he's a little bit more teetering and tottering. But really, really, again, happy that I ended up getting this guy. Just to think, I sat on this, looked on, what, on the website and thought to myself, do I really need a charred Chucky? Then I quickly snapped out and re realized, yes, yes, in fact, I do. And just one last time, while I don't actually have the retail release Chucky available right now for at least displaying, here's what he looks like again with the good guy Chucky. Definitely needs to get a re-release, I think, just to kind of shrink down his proportions. And again, what he also looks like with the bride of Chucky, Chucky, which again, like these guys are a little bit closer together. Charred Chucky delivers exactly what I would want for this kind of good guy in the state that he's in at the end of the first film. He definitely looks menacing in the, the opener of the film, or I should say at the end of the film, and he looks equally good here as a retro cloth release. And the beauty, again, just because, again, like the head is sitting on the ball joint as it is, you can either have him displayed like this, or you can take the head off and have it rolling around next to his body. If the original Child's Play taught us anything, it was that Chucky was a hard doll to kill. Oh, and then Andy would also set you on fire in a moment's notice if he thought you weren't his friend anymore. Yeah, Andy... Real tough time finding friends after the first film. As you know, as burnt to a crisp as Chucky looks like right now, we, having seen the movie, knows he gets a lot worse. He loses his arm, he loses his leg. Well, he's already lost his head by that point, and he's burnt completely blackened. Now, obviously, they could have released a figure like that down the road as well, but I mean, I think that's taking it too far the extreme. I think this is just the right level of a burnt Chucky. This is still the stake well done. I've gone out with steak to steak places with friends where even well done person ushers over the waiter and says, excuse me, excuse me, can, can my wife have this back on the grill for another five minutes? You look at the waiter, the waiter looks at you. You can't say anything for obvious reasons. You're sort of just locking eyes and the eyes are the things that tell everything. That's how far the extreme that, that Chucky would go. This is still an edible steak and more than enough for me. I mean, obviously you could customize this guy, but really that's taking it too much considering this guy is as limited as he is and considering as well, stop what you're doing. Considering this guy is sold out over on their website, I wouldn't really want to take this guy and then customize him even further. If I got myself a retail release, another Chucky, the one that's not 
I thought again, I heard something. One that's not wandering around right now, possibly with a voodoo knife in his hand. If you got another one of those, go to town. Take the take the arm off, take the leg off, but maybe not do it with this one because this guy's already in a limited quantity. One feature I do like about this figure is that you can take the head off like he does in the movie. To be really fair, you can do that also with any retro cloth NECA figure because generally they're always on ball joint sockets. Now, granted, you wouldn't want to do that with a Herbert West because that would kill... Actually, no, I have to stop myself. Herbert West probably wouldn't kill him. But yeah, you can also take his head off as well if you want to. Why are we talking about, talking about taking people's heads off? But it's certainly something that I'm only going to do here for final looks just for the risk of this head rolling off the shelf and under the couch somewhere and I'm never going to be able to find it again. I much rather would rather have the head on the neck and leave it as it is. He comes included also with a voodoo knife, but because of the way he looks at the end of the movie, I don't know if I really want to put him with the voodoo knife. I'm just probably likely going to be putting that back in the packaging. That's just that's just me. Features I also really like about this figure is the way they've sculpted the inside cavity of the side of his head. So even though he's charred and burnt to a crisp, you can actually still look in the side of the head and realize there's still a lot sculpting going on there. He's got very little hair. What's melted away of the plastic on the front of his face is nicely painted as well. And one little touch of detail I really like is that they actually found the way to put a hinge in his jaw. So you can open and close and have him screaming while he's being burnt inside of a fireplace. And he doesn't do really well with new friends. What do you guys think, though, of Burnt Chucky? First of all, did you guys have the chance to pick this guy up for yourself? Or if you haven't, is this a figure that's going to be on your radar that you're going to be looking forward to getting yourself? Also, I mean, again, you can go over to their website. And even though he is sold out, he's slated to a release with a December 27, 2022 date. My guess is that that's going to be a restock pre-order, which apparently has already, again, sold out. Because we already have a lot. The people that had originally ordered the Chucky already have their Chuckies by now. That, that's got to be like a restock. But again, they've sold out of it. But what you can do is go to the Notify Me just below. Not, not here, but over on their site. So at least you can put in your email. So if this guy happens to be stocked again, you'll get at least the notification so you guys can... Get, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on this guy. Because remember, when we got the good guy, Retro Cloth Chucky, he never got released again. He got it released again in a, retro, in a retail release, but he had a completely different head sculpt. That good guy, Chucky, long gone. Long gone. Don't, re don't make those same regrets and not get burnt Chucky when the stock becomes available of him. Seriously, I've gone to steak places where people have ordered a steak and haven't taken back a couple of times. Twice. Twice. I'm not going to say their names. I don't think they're watching anyways. But they had the steak taken back twice. Can you cook it a little longer? Locking eyes with the waiter. Waiter is locking eyes with me. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit a like. If you're loving the content you guys have seen and certainly do want to stick around for more, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. While we have wrapped up things right now for Chucky, there will be more NECA reviews coming your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.